hi guys and welcome back for another video today's video is brought to you in partnership with the good and the beautiful and today I am so excited to show you guys um, that I received the brand new newly revised I should say level three language arts um, I received it a few days ago and I had some time to comb through it and check out the differences um, that they um, improved and so I was going to do a flip through of it to show you guys but then I realized that the good and the beautiful actually did a sneak peek um, for you guys so I'll link their video down in the description box if you want to go and check out kind of their sneak peek at this curriculum um, but today I'm going to share with you guys the five things that I think they've improved the most out of this level um, they have revised previous levels uh, but this this is the the most recent revision and revision doesn't mean that it was bad before it was wonderful before and that's why when I heard they were revising the level I kind of scratched my head and thought hmm well it's really good so what can they do to make it better but they did make it better and so this is just my personal opinion but maybe you've got an older version and you're wondering like mm, should i really spring for the newer version well i'm gonna let you guys know what i think are the best improvements that i see here um i've used pretty much every single language arts level that they've created and so i feel very um I feel very prepared for this video. So we're just gonna jump right in. The first thing that is in this newly revised version of language arts, uh, this is level three again, is more color. Um, all of the levels of language arts had plenty of color. Um, well, actually, I think one of them was black and white. Uh, my my son did level four and his was black and white, but level five and level seven did have color as well as this past year we did um, level two and that also had color, but they've added more color. So this is just a sample, but you can see like they, there's like even, um, even things like this that just break up the look of the page. The text is in black ink. The this is in blue. Um, here we have like yellow and red and so purple. There's just a lot more color on the pages, which helps my eyes um, kind of see the different sections. And I just really like that there's a lot of color. Um, another thing that I noticed that they changed, which I actually really am kind of happy about, is that there's no lessons in this um, newly revised version that span over multiple days. So lesson, thir like for example, lesson 38 on poetry is a two page lesson and it should be done. Of course, you're the parent and you can do it how you want, but um, it's all one lesson because then we're on to 39. So I really prefer that because there were, when you've got a lot of kids um, <laughs> that are doing all different levels, it was kind of hard to remember like, oh yeah, we need to go back and do that spelling section and then move on to this lesson and then go back and do the spelling section. Um, so I may do and we always got it done, but there were some times that I did forget. And so I really like that the lessons don't span multiple days. Now it's just one lesson per day. I also think that that's pretty pretty awesome if say I were to get sick and my husband needed to step in it would be easier for him to navigate so I really like that they made that revision the next thing that I think they did a really great job of is just reorganization of the pages um, so um, for it's hard to show you a specific example but when you're working on multiple um, concepts um, it's nice that they have them kind of broken into chunks. So for here, this is like a spelling pattern practice. And then here we have a oral narration. And then we have um, practicing some compound words. And then we have some reading. So down, they like broke it up and it's very organized. It's very, um, very easily read and clearly moves from one thing to the next. And so I, I really 
really like that um the next thing that they added is this beautiful poetry book it is a hard covered book um and it says on the back these this illustrated compilation of classic children's poems offers a powerful and fun way to broaden vocabulary increase reading fluency and instill beautiful language patterns in children's minds as the poems highlight the wonders and beauties of nature, family, God, and high character, children gain much more than just academic benefits. They also have their hearts and characters deepened and expanded. Um, so this book is going to be something that I use um, for poetry tea time as well as using it for language arts. So I just think this beautiful poetry book is such a sweet addition to it. Um, and I just really, really love it. There's cute little illustrations. The poems, none of them are very extremely long. They're all just like little bite-sized poems. And so it's pretty perfect. So I love that they did that. And the last thing that I noticed that is a positive, in my opinion, is the revision of when there is art study. So if you're new to The Good and the Beautiful, you may not know this, but art is uh, woven into this curriculum. And um, on previous levels, the um, artists, like if they were studying, this is just an example. So this is a lesson, I can't tell. 39 and it's where she my daughter would be studying this artist well sometimes this would be on the back of another page and it was hard for her to kind of look at the lesson and flip back and forth so i love that they have it as one layout here now um on on other pages where it might be a smaller piece of art that they're viewing um it's actually at the bottom of the page and so i really like that the art is visible and it's not going to require like tearing out or um or flipping back and forth you can just open it flat and see so um i know that that probably sounds kind of weird but i i actually noticed that right away and so i figured i would share that with you guys so the new level is beautiful it it's like when something's good how can they make it better but then they figure out how to do that and so i am just continually impressed and thankful for the good and the beautiful's work their constant effort to make things even better for us as homeschooling parents they are truly an amazing company and i am just blessed to work with them so i wanted to share with you guys the five things that i noticed about the revisions let me know if you've got a new level and you've used older levels let me know if there's anything i'm missing here that you notice that has changed and um you're like this is a great thing let me know down in the comments below if you guys have any questions for me about the good and the beautiful I can try to answer them I do have I, I do have most of the answers but sometimes there's things I can't answer of course but um, you can leave them down below and I'll be happy to give you guys my thoughts and opinions give me a thumbs up before you go and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon bye guys <laughs>